part three of Beauty Brand Superstars, where we're going to talk about the cream of the crop, the best of the best, my ride or die, from three different drugstore beauty brands, and we're going to get into that right now. This is a series that I started about three weeks ago where we're talking about what is the very, very best of a certain brand. And this time we're talking about Revlon, Maybelline, and Catrice. And I am absolutely loving doing this series and it seems like so many of you are enjoying it as well. So I will link part one and part two down below. And we're just going through brands that I really enjoy and we're picking out what I think is great. So we're gonna get started in looking at what I love and we're gonna start out with Revlon. I have two different primers from Revlon that I absolutely love. The first one is the Revlon Photo Ready and this one is Pore Reducing primer. I have this one on today. I love the slip on this and I love how it still fills in your pores without feeling like it's got a ton of dimethicone or the silicone in it. So you're going to get that blurring effect. I don't know if you guys can even see that on camera, but that just blurs like crazy. So if you're looking at both hands, maybe you'll be able to see that. Maybe not, but you could just see how it blurs it out and it's just really silky and I love it for filling in my pores. Helps keep my makeup on all day because obviously it forms that barrier between the foundation and your moisturizer so your moisturizer and your foundation isn't getting sucked in there all day long so i really do love this i think it's a great one for making your makeup last longer and blurring the other one that i absolutely love from them this is one that i've had for years and years and this is the color stay prep and protect and this has an sps of spf of 34 in it this is one of my favorites because it is a mineral based sunscreen you do get the white there but you can see how it's already trailing down my hand or running down my hand it is super thin super super thin but this one does give you the spf so you'd still have the benefits of having the barrier between the moisturizer and the foundation you still have the pore refining effect of it but if you need an spf this has got that added in it and it's really a great one for the face because it plays so well under foundation so i love that one and then when we talk about foundations this has always been in my top 10 and it started as one of your recommendations, which I'm so thankful for. This is the color stay 24 hours, um, normal to dry skin foundation. And I love this. It is what I had have on today. It is super great for dry skin because it doesn't leave you cakey or dry, doesn't settle into fine lines and wrinkles. I have loved this for coverage. It's super great coverage. It's medium to full coverage. I think that the consistency is perfect for me. It is a, a tiny bit fluid, but at the same time, it's creamy enough that it's going to cover everything. And for me, it's just perfect. I use it with the beauty blender, not with a brush. A brush, brush seems to leave a little bit too much on there, but it just is perfect with the beauty blender. And as you can see, it's absolutely gorgeous with my hand just you know going across it and blending it in i love the coverage on it now i do have a lot of scarring back here from age spots and acne scarring so those scars are covered really well um i will say that you probably need to go over just those little areas a little bit more with this a second coat but on the first coat you're going to get such an even application and it's so pretty and a, talk about staying power it's really good it's going to look good for hours and hours after you put it on 24 hours who wears their makeup that long but i do know that this would last 14 hours and i think that it's just a fantastic foundation for mature skin i also really love their skin lights i think this is just such a good highlighter and i don't know what color it is unless i put my glasses is on so let me get those on this one is number 201 daybreak glimmer and it's a beautiful color it's kind of a champagne -y, um kind of a light metallic gold color it's more on the champagne side than the gold color so you're not really getting one that is you know going to be like gold or pink it's just kind of a neutral color and i really love it it's a great consistency no no glitter in it 
only metallic shimmer and i do have it on underneath my um, blush today and it just shows through it gives you a nice soft glow under blush and i think it's really great and then revlon's lipsticks they are so gorgeous so so gorgeous i have loved these forever and I, they, I can't get enough of them so this one is 002 this is a matte one and it's called pink pout because this is a matte formula this is quite saturated and this is actually what i have on with a lip liner today the lip liner is from essence if i can find it i'll make sure i list it below but this is so pretty it's just the a beautiful blue pink to it and then the second one is called berry hot and I love this one. This is one of the ones that I love to wear in the spring and the summer because it's a bright color. It's kind of an orchid color. It's just a beautiful, beautiful color. I love it. And then this one is 048 and this is Audacious Mauve. And again, this one is in the matte formula. That one that is very hot, that one is more along the lines of the satin formula. And this one as well is so vibrant and so pretty. So you get kind of a gamut of pinks here and and I just love them. I really, really like this one. What did I say it was? Audacious Mauve. It's very, very saturated and it goes really well with anybody that's going to want to do a kind of a pinky peach neutral color. I love these lipsticks. I've loved them for years. I think they're fantastic. Okay, that is it for Revlon. Now let's go on to Catrice. I feel like Catrice is one of those brands that's super duper underrated at the drugstore. You can only get this at Ulta in some stores. Some stores don't even carry this anymore. You can get a lot more online. Let's start out with a primer that I think is really good. This primer is Prime and Fine Poreless Blur primer long lasting soft focus effect and again it is a lot like that first one i showed you of revlon but it does have a little bit more of that dimethicone slip in it that i talked about i think it's a gorgeous one it's not super thick like you know the original photo focus from smashbox was just a little bit too thick this one has a ton of slip to it so if you have really large pores this one might be one that you really like People have been coming to me and saying, I don't know what to do because my pores show up no matter what primer I use. I think that, you know, some of our pores are just going to show up. I have them too. So what you want to do when you're using your primer, especially one that does have quite a bit of silicone or dimethicone in, is you want to not just swipe it across because what's going to happen, you're going to swipe it across and you're going to miss what's down in those pores. So if you're pressing more along the lines of pressing it in and, you know, kind of rubbing if you need to, you can do this with a beauty blender. I would recommend that you don't do it with a brush because you're going to probably get too much on your skin. But as far as as really doing its job and hiding those pores like it says where you want where you kind of might be going wrong is not taking the time to really press it in so keep that in mind and you might really like it a lot better and then i also have which i've been using for years the camouflage under eye primer this is a dose of of extra hydration right before you go in and do your color corrector or your concealer and i think this is really good so i give it a minute to set in it does have a little bit of dimethicone in it itself so it's going to help fill in some lines and wrinkles don't use too much all you need is a dot and then you know press it in and go across and make sure it's rubbed in really well it just is a nice primer for aging eyes because it does help give that little plumped up effect right before you go in with any sort of concealer so, and i really like it a lot now speaking of under eyes the catrice camouflage wake up effect is a really great color corrector excuse me but this for me is a really great color because even though it's looking really light probably to you on camera it is kind of a medium peach it's not like an apricot or anything like that for that you might have to go to something like la girl or even pixie has their apricot color but this is nice it's really really nice and i really like the consistency of it it doesn't seem to leave a cakey mess behind but this one will completely take out that purple blue that i have 
it just does the trick so so well and i know that a lot of people are talking about yellow is across the the color wheel from purple that's very true but the peach is across for orange is across from blue and mine are that deep color that just seems to be like a grayish bluish purple and so this just works out really great for me it's perfect it helps with that with that brightening effect because of the peach as well and I love it and I do think this is one that you might have to order off of their website as well I also absolutely adore this next product. This is the dewy glow fixing spray prime and fine and this is so good for Helping you to have a gorgeous glow without being disco ballish. I have this all over my face today So it gives a natural look to my face and natural luminosity to my face. It does have a really micro fine um, Not glitter. I can't it's like a shimmer in here So you have to shake it really good and then I spray it on a brush and then I put it on my face it is one of those ones that if you go too heavy handed with it, and I feel like if you spray it, you get too much on, but using it on a brush, you're not wasting product and you're being able to kind of strategically place it maybe where you need to for break apart or where you want more glow. But I really love the finish that this gives. As far as keeping the makeup in place all day, if you're somebody that's super oily, you're gonna need to probably use an additional one. But for the glow, this is perfect. It just makes you look so dewy and so yummy. I did discover the True Skin Hydrating Foundation very recently. And this one is a lovely, lovely foundation. Let me find out what color it is. This is Cool Cashmere. Great color for me because it doesn't have yellow in it, but it's a great consistency as well. It has a glass bottle with a pump. I mean, we have some high-end ones that everybody loves that don't even have pumps on them, which I don't understand that. You can see how runny that is. So it's a very thin formula, but it covers really well. So I would say that this is more along the lines of a medium coverage. That's a full pump. So that's a lot of makeup there. It's very dewy and very hydrating. I can feel that as I'm working with it with my fingers. It does have really good coverage on it. It is a medium coverage. It's a beautiful foundation. I mean, Honestly, what I love about it is that it's hydrating. If you're an oily skin girl, you're not going to like it very well. You'd probably like their original ones, which people just tout and absolutely love for mature skin because it's a very thin formula. You don't need very much highly pigmented. This one has nice a nice pigment to it as well. It just has a little bit more hydration and I feel like it just covers mature skin a little bit better because it's not going to show up texture. That's the kind of the problem I had with their original one, but this one, it just works beautifully on my skin. Lasting power isn't as good as the color stay. It probably has more along the lines of maybe 10 hours before you notice it wearing off. So I really love this true skin because I do feel like it gives a skin like finish instead of giving a foundation like finish. So love that. Now I also have their blush. These are their mosaic blush. Blushes. And this one is called glowing and multicolor blush and this one is in the color. It's wine o'clock I think they have two colors. They might have three but this was the rosy color that I chose um, The other colors seem to be kind of an apricot apricot peach color. It's just pretty. It's a beautiful color You can build it up so that it can be a lot a lot more pigmented, but I think that this is one of the blushes from the drugstore that I love so much because it hugs the cheeks and the flush of it is such that it just gives a really natural color to the cheeks without having so much pigment that you feel like you're, you've been overwhelmed by it. I just think this is so pretty. The color is perfect for me. The consistency is very creamy as far as the powder goes. So this is one that I would recommend that you try. And then they have their brand new, this is more than a highlighter and I think this one is called oh, Supreme Rose Beam and it does have a little imprint on there when it came to me it did have it but I've almost rubbed that off because I have not been able to put this down now I'm going to just show you right here next to the blush what a beautiful highlighter it is. I didn't wear it as my highlighter. I wore the Revlon one, but wow, it is so pretty. And I think that the glow from this, you can really build it up to be a very high beam if you want to, 
or you can soften it by going in very softly at the beginning and then putting your blush over it really like the consistency of it again it's very creamy even though it's a powder formula when it goes on your finger it just feels super creamy and i love it i think that's it for catrice we're gonna move right on into maybelline and a couple of things that i found that i was so excited about is this color strike this is an eyeshadow that is in the form of kind of a plunger with a little sponge applicator right there on the tip you need to find a mirror because what i think is so great about about this is that little sponge tip can go perfectly into your inner corner and even though I already have some on you're gonna see when I put this on how brightening that is just for that area and my goodness didn't that just brighten it up like crazy this is a great delivery system i'm not sure how long it's going to last but it's lasted quite a while so far and this one is in spark i think that how they did this is great i love that you can get in there you could go across your brow bone if you wanted to as well let me just show you really quick just up there on that brow bone just a little bit to lift that eye up there Look how fast that was and how easy that was. And they have matte colors. They don't just have shimmer colors. They do have mattes. They have darker colors and they have medium colors and then these light colors. I really like this and it does stay, stay around a long time. And then I don't know what took me so long to get on this train of these that are in the pot that are the cream formula. These are so nice. And of course, I chose the white because I love to mix a white shimmer with other colors of eyeshadow. It just really does something special in the middle of my eyelid it just makes it look really bright and makes it look like it's got this gorgeous pop and this one is really beautiful because if you use that as a base and you go over top of it with the shadow it's going to create that kind of halo look in the middle i think it's wonderful and these are called the color tattoo and this one is called chill i think chill girl i like this because it will set down and it will be there all day long and when you take your makeup off at night it's still going to be there and if you use it as a base it's going to help hug your eyeshadow and it's still going to be there and again they have a bunch of colors of this and then the master chrome highlighters these are the ones that kind of came out just after becca started coming out with her highlighters and this one is in molten rose and i love this this one is my very favorite of all of them it's that champagne color with a little bit of peach and rose in it and it is high beam it definitely is high beam and it will give you just a gorgeous look across your cheeks goes beautifully under blush but it can go really pretty on top of blush as well if that's what you like i will just kind of dust it across here so you can see i don't have any brushes in front of me so hopefully i'm not making a mess but i love how this one will stay on all day long won't show texture unless you're going to get too heavy-handed with it then it might but keep in mind that as mature women the lighter handed we go the better off our makeup's going to look you can pop this in the middle of your lip too to give a little bit of dimension to your matte lipsticks if you like that as well simply beautiful on skin and i know that so many people this was their ride or die for so long but now we have so many on the market but this one i go back to over and over again because it's just gorgeous now here we go these are my maybelline lipsticks i love maybelline lipsticks battery went dead but i think we're good to go all right spectacles on because i got a bunch to show you so this one i'm gonna show you but you can't get it anymore unless you happen to get it on ebay or something this is blush beige and this color i can't believe that this went away because this was my perfect nude shade to go with other lip liners and this was a kind of a satin formula but it was perfect because i could put it with any lip liner and it could just brighten that lip liner up and kind of make the most beautiful ombre nude look loved that one and then this one is called nude lust and although i do like this one because it doesn't have the lightness to it this is really light this one is not my perfect nude even though i it's pretty darn close if i want a darker nude this one again is a satin color and then i have this one is romantic rose one of my very favorites i think i this is my second tube of it romantic rose is definitely more along the lines of a 
luster or kind of a juicy formula compared to the other ones it's not quite it's not satin it's a step above satin but it's beautiful and it's definitely a rose color not just a pink pink color and then this one is born with it born with it is gorgeous it's one of those ones that looks almost identical to the one that's next to it but it has a little bit more pink to it so if you're somebody that's cool this is a great color because it gives you more of your lips but better especially if you have that kind of bluish undertone to your skin or the cool undertone to your skin really pretty one of my all-time favorites i wear this i i think i've had three or four of digs and this one is called warm me up this is to me my perfect your lips but better color because it has that satin finish to it it sticks around for a long time super duper opaque and i don't need to use a liner with it if i don't want to it's just along the lines between a matte and a satin this is a this is my perfect color i buy this one over and over again for a your lips but better nude color and then this one is called rose embrace this is kind of along the lines of getting into a mauve color and this one is kind of a matte formula i love it can you tell that i like pinks on here i really like this one it is a little bit deeper than the other ones i've shown you super creamy all of these are so so creamy and i think that's what i love about them because i can't wear a matte formula at all and then this one is blushing pout this one is the perfect blue pink pink does that make any sense? So you're getting a super beautiful formula with the matte, super saturated, but it also is just pink. It's not got any sort of a peach in it at all. It is a true blue pink. And when I say that, I mean it has a blue undertone instead of any sort of a warm undertone or mixed or anything. So this is gorgeous. Again, that, that one is blushing pout. And then the last one I have is one that I've worn since my kids were little, it's called Mauve It Up. This is a purple lipstick that I wear over and over again. And it is, I shouldn't say it's really purple. It's like fuchsia purple. So it's bright enough that it shows up a beautiful color on your lips. But at the same time, it's not overwhelmingly fuchsia bright. So that's one that I've worn Oh gosh, I've worn it forever and you can only get this one on Amazon now and I always have a backup of that one because I know when I can't get it anymore I'm going to be super sad because it's one of my very favorites. That's it for Maybelline. I hope that you did enjoy seeing these superstars. These are cream of the crop, ride or die, best of the best. What else do people say about them on YouTube? Um, their must-haves, all that stuff that they talk about. These are the ones that I, through the years, have picked out. And I know that so many of you have trusted me with my opinions and tried them out and said that you love different things, and I appreciate that. But know that I'm only one woman, and I know that what works for me may not work for somebody else, but I also know that you guys have really good taste. So let me know in the comment section what you like from these three brands that I didn't mention that I may need to try out because I value your opinion so much. Hope everybody is doing really well. Please take care of yourselves, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye friends.